We have to start with Derrick Henry, right? 41 touches, 237 yards, three touchdowns. It built as it went for Derrick Henry. It took a while, but as it got going, it built. What led to Derrick Henry's success as the game wore on? Yeah, I mean, I think it was really a commitment uh, from Todd and his staff to stick with the game plan. You know, it, it, certainly the line, getting on guys, sticking on their blocks, receivers, tight ends, trying to block those support players. You know, I think we finished up with 87 yards in the third quarter alone. And then that type of success really, you know, allowed us to open up the playbook and stay in the drives. You won time of possession for the ball game by almost 20 minutes. Were you even a little surprised by that? Well, a little bit, but I mean, it seemed like we had it a long time. You know, we were, we were able to get into some of those drives like I alluded to. And defensively, we came away with three three and outs there in the second half and the overtime, you know, which got, got the ball back to the offense quick, kept the defense off the field. But yeah, once we kind of got to the end of the game and we had sealed it there to look down and see that we had had it that long, pretty impressive. Ola Adani had the quarterback sack in overtime of Russell Wilson that got you the ball back and you ended up winning it from there. And a lot of Titans fans are like, who's Ola Adani? Tell us who he is and why you liked him so much coming over from the Pittsburgh Steelers. Yeah, I mean, Ola, was a, he was a rookie free agent out of Toledo. He signed with Pittsburgh. He ended up making the team every year for Pittsburgh, carved out a role on special teams. You know, that was kind of what we signed him for was you know, was the kicking game and he's certainly been a permanent fixture in there for us but we've slowly incorporated he's earned some reps defensively in practice and certainly had a big one for us uh, sunday up in seattle all right let's talk about indianapolis defensively physical in the front seven what do you like about those guys up front for the colts a lot of playmakers mike a lot of playmakers you know buckner he's a he's a problem in there he's long he's explosive he's a really good run player plays with a high motor he can rush the passer and then off the ball you know you got to know where darius leonard is you know if you're looking for him, usually find where the ball's at, and that's he's usually around the pile somewhere. Finally, there's no sneaking up on each other when Indianapolis plays Tennessee. Really, both teams know what they're in for Sunday at Nissan Stadium, right? Yeah, I mean, it's a division game. We play those guys twice a year. We've seen their personnel. The coaching staffs have, for the most part, remained intact. So, you know, schematically, there's a few wrinkles here and there. We know what they're trying to do, and they know what we're trying to do. Those division games are paramount for your success in the season, how it's going to end up in the postseason. So there's no hiding behind anything. It's going to be what it's going to be.